The Jack Benny Program, transcribed and presented by Lucky Strike. Nothing, no nothing beats better taste. And remember, Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. For Lucky Strike means fine tobacco, richer tasting, fine tobacco. Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky Strike, Lucky Strike. Yes, friends, for real smoking enjoyment, nothing, no nothing beats better taste. And Lucky's taste better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Here's why. You see, Lucky's better taste starts with good-tasting tobacco. Fine, light, naturally mild tobacco. Then, too, Lucky's are made better to taste better, to give you a cleaner, fresher, smoother-tasting smoke. That's the secret of real smoking enjoyment. Lucky's fine tobacco in a cigarette that's made better to taste better. So be happy. Go Lucky. Whenever you buy cigarettes, remember this. Nothing, no nothing beats better taste. And Lucky tastes better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky strike, lucky strike. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Rochester, Dennis Day, Bob Crosby, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now mid-December, and as is their custom every year at this time, Jack and Mary have gone to one of the local department stores to do their Christmas shopping. But before we take you there, let us look in at the office of a prominent psychiatrist. Oh, so now, the ex back on the couch and tell me what is your hallucination. Uh, why are you afraid to go back to work? Doctor, it's no hallucination. It happens every year at this time, just before Christmas, every year. Just before Christmas. Uh, 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 calmly, calmly, Mr. Blank, don't get excited. Lay back on the couch. Now, tell me, when did it first start? During the Christmas shopping rush in 1946. As I told you, I'm a salesman at the department store, and this kindly-looking blue-eyed old gentleman bought a gift. <laughs> then six times that day he came back, pestered me, and exchanged it for a different model. Well, what was the gift he kept exchanging? Shoelaces. <laughs> he bought someone shoelaces for a gift? Yeah, for someone named Don. <laughs> now, uh, how could he possibly exchange shoelaces six times? Well, first he bought laces with metal tips. Then he came back because he thought plastic tips looked more modern. So when he was back again, he was afraid the plastic tips might crack. So he went back to metal tips. Then he got to thinking the metal tips might rust. So he came back to change them to plastic tips. Six times he changed his mind. Plastic tips, metal tips, plastic tips, metal tips. Plastic tips, metal tips. <laughs> please, please come out. You're supposed to be on the couch, not under it. <laughs> well, uh, tell me, uh, what did this man do the next year? Ah, uh, the next year I was lucky. I didn't see him. Oh, he didn't come into the store? I don't know. I was in a sanitarium. <laughs> Ah, definite uh, traumatic psychosis. Um, and then you got out. Did you go back to your job at the department store? Yeah, but I was smart. I had him transfer me to the jewelry department. Uh, what was smart about that? Well, this old gentleman didn't look like the jewelry buying type. <laughs> then you did not see him last year. He found me. He found me. <laughs> uh, and more trouble? Yeah. Once again, he came in to buy something for Don. This time it was cufflinks. Well, that is good. Who could find anything wrong with cufflinks? He found it, he found it. <laughs> it was the engraving. First, he had them engraved D.W. So I wrapped them, all pretty and Christmassy. Then he goes off happy, and I am silently saying a prayer of thanks. Aha, uh -huh, that is good. Not good. He discovers that D.W. has a middle initial. So first he buys the gift, then I engrave the gift, then I wrap the gift. Then he changes his mind about the engraving. So I unwrap the gift, I change the engraving, rewrap the gift. And then he changes his mind and wants cheaper cufflinks. So I have to go through wrapping, engraving, and rewrapping again, again, and again, and again. Please, I'm trying to help you. Stop choking me. I'm sorry, Doctor. Mr. Blank, 
Avoiding your work will cause repressions. It should only magnify this in your subconscious. So you think I should go back to my job? But certainly, you will probably never run into this aggravating man again. Well, I have taken precautions. This year, I asked to be put in the gardening tools department. Gardening tools? Yeah. All these people live in the city. Uh, they have no use for anything like that. Good, good. You are facing your problem face to face with your face. <laughs> but remember, should you ever meet this man any place, use psychology. Be nice, be calm, be pleasant to him, and you will have no trouble. Well, don't worry, Doctor. I won't see him. But if I do, I'll be calm and I'll be nice to him. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, and Merry Christmas, Mr. Blank. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Doctor. Oh, i got to hurry back to the store. <laughs> Gosh, Mary, no matter how early you try to do your Christmas shopping, the store is always crowded. Yeah. Yet I can't start doing my shopping any earlier. I like to buy modern, up-to-the-minute gifts, you know. As far as I'm concerned, your gifts are ahead of the times. What do you mean? You gave me jewelry that turned green years before they had chlorophyll. <laughs> oh, stop. Now, let's see. I still have to buy lots of gifts. I'm going to the jewelry department to see if I can find something for my sponsor. Well, I've got to get something for my mother. I'll meet you out here later. Okay, Mary. Now, let's see. Where's the jewelry department? I think it's on the next floor, the top one. I wonder where... Oh, there's the floor walker. I'll ask him. Oh, floor walker? Floor walker? Can you give me some information? Ask me anything. I'm a talking horse. <laughs> oh, stop. You don't even look like a horse. You're not now. There's a veterinarian in Denmark who does wonders. <laughs> that silly talk or I'll go to the manager and report you. Now, look, I'm looking for a jewelry department. Will you tell me where to go? Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Never mind. Yes, sir, may I help you, young man? Uh, yes, I'm looking for Christmas gifts for my mother and father. Well, this is the sporting goods department. How about some golf balls? No. Tennis rackets? No. Hey, I've got an idea. What about a punching bag? Hey, that's great. Now, what would you suggest to my father? <laughs> uh, uh, just a minute, young man. You want to get this punching bag for your mother? Uh-huh. That's rather unusual. Has she ever had one before? No, she always used my father. <laughs> you can send the punching bag, and I'll enclose a card to both my parents. Yes, sir. What's your address? It's on Orange Avenue. The number is 3247 and a half. A half? Oh, oh, it's a duplex. No, it was hit by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up. I'll take it with me. Mary! Mary! Oh, here I am, Jack. You get a present for your sponsor? Yes, I sent him a nail file. <laughs> uh, a nail file? You think that's a suitable Christmas gift for a sponsor? Well, for just any sponsor, no, but... Mine needs sharp fingernails, you know, so he can tear and compare. You know? <laughs> I'm sure he'll like it. Now, let's see. I've already given you a bonus, and I bought Dennis's gift. Gee, I wish I knew what to buy for Don Wilson. Mm, ought to be easy to get something for Don. He, you know, he just moved into a new home. Get something for his house. No, I heard him mention that his entire home was furnished by an interior decorator. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. Isn't Don's new home sort of a little ranch in the San Fernando Valley? Yes. Well, why don't you get him some gardening tools? <laughs> yeah. Gardening tools. Why didn't I think of that? Say, Mary, I know what to get Don as a Christmas present, and he'll really appreciate it. What? A gopher trap. <laughs> A gopher trap? Yeah, I heard him mention that his place is overrun with gophers. 
Come on, Mary, let's go. Uh, uh, you go yourself. I'm going to buy a gift for Barbara's sandwich. I'll meet you at the perfume counter. Okay, Mary. I'll see you later. Let's see. Where would I get a gopher trap? I wonder if that comes under hunting equipment. <laughs> I I just have to... Now, where's that floor walker? Oh, there he is, way over there. Oh, floor walker! Floor walker! Yes, where can I buy a gopher trap? In the gardening tools department down in the basement. Thanks. Imagine that crazy floor walker saying he's a horse. Well, I better get over to the gardening tools department. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what... Oh, uh, excuse me, clerk. Uh, yes, sir, what can I... Oh, it's yours. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I must be calm. Uh, I'll be happy to wait on you. Thank you. I'd like to buy a gopher trap. Uh, yes, sir. Excuse me, I'll go get one for you. Hmm. He wants a gopher trap. A gopher trap? What trouble can I get into with that? <laughs> ah, here they are. Here you are, sir. This is the most popular type of gopher trap. It looks so complicated. How does it work? Well, uh, you open this little door, and, and you set it with this wire. Then you put a piece of tomato in this wire cage for bait. Well, that's fine. But wait a minute. What do you do with the gopher after you have him trapped? Well, you have to take him out and kill him. Hmm. That seems so cruel. Hmm? <laughs> well, we have another type trap that catches him and kills him at the same time. Oh, you have another kind of trap? Hmm, I have to tell him yet. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, here it is, sir. <laughs> How does this one work? Well, you spread these two sharp prongs apart, and, and pretty soon the little gopher comes sniffing around, walks in, boing, and that's the end of them. Good. I'll take this one here that kills them, you see. Wrap it up as a Christmas gift. Yes, sir. I, I, a Christmas gift? <laughs> I'm giving it to someone for Christmas. Now, I want red and green ribbons and tinsel and everything. Okay, okay. And clerk, uh, enclose a card saying... To Don, I know. <laughs> That's right. I'll be back and pick it up later. Hey, Mary. Oh, hello, Bob. Doing your Christmas shopping? Uh-huh. Mary, when you got a wife and five kids, that's really a chore. Well, I imagine it is. What are you getting the kids? Well, I'm getting both the girls' dresses and the two younger boys' electric trains. For my oldest boy, I'm getting a bicycle. Ooh, that's nice. Well, I thought so, too, but he keeps complaining. He thinks he's too old for a bicycle. Well, what does he want? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I got some more shopping to do. You want to join me, Mary? No, I've got to wait here for Jack. Hey, that reminds me. I've got to buy Jack's present right now. It's kind of hard to, to figure out a gift for him. Uh, have you got any suggestions? Well, how about something for his den? I mean, a, a picture, a book, or... Say, I know, I know what. I, I, I think I could get him a lamp to put on the table near his telephone. Yeah, he can use a lamp by that phone. Well, you're not kidding. It's so dark in that corner that twice I put a dime in the quarter slot. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice gift. It'll save us all money. See you later, Mary. Oh, Mary. Mary. Over here, Jack. What took you so long? I'm sorry, but the store is so busy. Well, Jack, who else do you have to get gifts for? Well, I'll have to look at the list. 
Thank you, ma'am. That's six dollars and seventy cents. Yes, sir, that's four dollars even. Yes, ma'am, three dollars out of ten. Listen, Mary, they're playing our song. <laughs> Here's my list. Now, let's see. Well, hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. Hi, Don. Gosh, you're carrying a lot of packages. I uh, sure am. Hey, what's that big bundle there on the bottom? Oh, I just got that in the sports department. You know, I like to go hunting occasionally, and I bought myself a tent. Oh, really? Single-breasted or double? <laughs> uh, what's that square box, Don? Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mary. That's a tape recorder the sportsman quartet and I bought for the sponsor. Oh, Don, a recorder is a wonderful gift for the sponsor. And I've got the entire cast record a greeting to him. That is, everybody except you. Now, would you do it? Well, Don, let me hear what you've got first. Okay, I'll play it for you. We're sending you a Christmas greeting just so you will know What fun it is to sing for you here on the radio Be happy, go lucky, be happy, get better taste, be happy This is Mary wishing you a Merry Christmas, too. And what a lucky day for us, the day that we met you. There is nothing, no, there's nothing, nothing that I like. As well as man as Sheva the Bits and good old <laughs> Lucky Strike. Happy, go lucky, be happy, get better, taste, be happy, go lucky, get better, taste today. LSMSP, our letters quite well known to you. L is for those little lights on every Christmas tree. F, of course, could only stand for Santa, you'll agree. M is for the mistletoe and Merry Christmas, too. F is for your friends and tea for ties they give to you. Dublin and Killarney and the Shaws of Galway Bay. May all the green and Christmas trees and holly come your way. And may your socks of Kelly Green be filled with all you like. With shamrocks and shillelaghs and some good old lucky strikes. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, get better taste. Be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Greetings to our sponsor and a happy 53 With all the joys that come from smoking LSMFT I have to dress like Santa Claus at home on Christmas Day The beard I wear is not my own, it's just an old toupee Lucky strike, lucky strike, lucky all the way A cleaner, fresher, smoother smoke, we smoke them night and day Lucky strike, lucky strike, we join in wishing you A very merry something in there, too. In oh, that that's recording. well, that's well, Jack. Well, I've got to go. Oh, more shopping, Don? No, i better get home to my wife. She's not feeling too well. Oh, that's a shame, Don. What's wrong with Lois? Oh, nothing serious, but this morning she went out in the garden and saw a dead gopher. The mere sight of it made her faint, but she'll be all right. So long. <laughs> so long, Don. Well, come on, Jack. We'd better go... Jack. Jack, what are you thinking about? What Don said, he said his wife faints at the sight of dead gophers. So what? So what? Mary, I bought Don the type of trap that kills the gophers. Well, what do you want to get? The kind that lifts their feet up and pats them on the po-po? <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I want to get the kind of a trap, you know, the kind that, that traps them alive. Wait here, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, clerk, clerk uh, Yes, sir, I got your package right here it It's gift-wrapped and tied with tinsel ribbon 
Uh, just a second, I'll get it for you. Oh, don't get it. I've changed my mind. What? <laughs> I want to exchange it for the kind that captures the gophers alive. Look, mister, there's really no difference. I'm sorry. I don't want the trap that kills the gophers. What do you care? You don't know them personally. <laughs> It's not that. But, mister, it took me ten minutes to wrap that gopher trap as a gift with all the tinsel and ribbons. Look, look at all the trouble you put me to. Look, I'm sorry, I don't want the trap that kills them. I like to be kind to animals. Why don't you try it with people? <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. I must be polite. I, I'm sorry, sir. Good. Now, gift wrap one that catches the gophers alive. And I'll be back. I know, I know. <laughs> Mary said she'd wait here. Well, since she's not here, I'll go over to the lingerie counter and buy some stockings for my sister Florence. See, I think Florence wears size... Hey, Bud. Bud. Huh? Come here a minute. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Where you going? <laughs> to the lingerie counter. I'm going to buy some stockings for my sister. What kind? <laughs> Nylon. Uh-uh. <laughs> huh? Get silk stockings. Why? Silk will give you a run for the money. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't think I'll get her stocking. Maybe I'll get her something else, something real nice. Uh, what do you think of a sheer negligee? A great show bet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Say, look, fella, every time I run into you, you top me on trains, apples, candy, everything but horses. So what? Look. Santa Anita is going to open in a couple of weeks. So for once, why don't you give me a tip on a race? Okay. Got a great horse for you on opening day. You have? What is it? Floor walker in the second. <laughs> no, I saw him and he's carrying too much weight. See you later. Yes, yeah, so long, Bud. So long. Huh? I always run into that guy. I wonder where Mary is. Hey, there's Rochester doing some shopping. I bet he's buying something for me. I'm going to eavesdrop and see what he gets me. May I wait on you? Yes, sir. I'm looking for a Christmas gift for my boss. For your boss, eh? How about a tie? No, he has lots of those. Well, how about a wallet or a money clip? Money clip? What's a money clip? No, it's a thing to hold your folding money. I've never had any that folds. <laughs> How's it work? Well, it's a spring-like metal clip that holds your money tight. He's got a fist that does that. <laughs> hmm. Wait till I get Rochester home. Hi, Jack. Oh, hello, Bob. Doing your shopping, too, I see. Yes, Jack, and as a matter of fact, I've gotten all the gifts for everybody except Don Wilson. Do you have any suggestions? No, I had a tough time deciding on a gift for Donzi myself. I finally got him something for his ranch, you know, a gopher trap. Well, that's different, anyway. And it makes a sensible gift. Everybody wants to kill those little pests. Oh, this isn't the kind that kills them, you see. This catches them alive. Jack, those kind aren't any good. Why, if the gopher is in there a long time, he bites his way out and he gets away. Oh, you mean the traps that kill them are better? Well, certainly. Well, excuse me, Bob. I've got to take care of something. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to. Hello, Mr. Blank. How is it going? Huh? Oh, oh hello, Doctor. Did that the blue-eyed gentleman find you? Like he had radar. <laughs> comes over here to buy a gopher trap, a simple little thing like a gopher trap. First he decides on one that catches him alive. But I made a mistake. Before I wrapped it, I let him know we also had the kind that kills him. So I sell him one of those. Then I wrap it and put tinsel and ribbon on it, and he goes away. 
Then he comes back and he makes me unwrap it because he wants the kind that catches him alive. <laughs> no, 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 no. Control yourself. Control yourself. Here, uh, take this little pill. It will calm your nerves. Oh, I can't take a pill, Doctor. There's no water here. Huh? I can't leave my car at door in this rush. Please, I am the doctor. You go take the pill. I'll wait on any customers who come along. Well, okay. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Ah, yes, sir. May I help you? Yes, I... Oh, where's the other clerk? Uh, <laughs> he has gone for a little while. Perhaps I can take care of you. Well, yes. Um, I have a gopher trap here, wrapped as a gift. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, here it is. Uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, just a minute. I don't want this one. See, I want the other kind. But, mister, this is all wrapped up with the tinsel and ribbons. I, I'm sure the gopher will like it just as well. <laughs> but look, I don't want this kind. See, it traps them alive. I want the kind that kills them instantly. Yeah, very well. Yeah, I guess that's the kind. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, wait, I don't want it like that. I want a gift wrap. Mm -hmm. Isn't that kind of silly? No, no, never mind. I just wrap it up. Huh? All right. Look, not so much red ribbon. Get some more green. Look, room. mister, it's Christmas, not St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, here you are. Thank you. Very... Wait a minute. You forgot to take the card out of the other one and close it in this one. Can't you put another card on the outside? No, no, no. I want the original card. You see, the one that I had something written on there. So unwrap the first trap. Take the card out and unwrap the second trap. Put the card in, then rewrap the second trap. What is this? First, first you make me wrap the second package, then you want me to unwrap the first one. That's right. You take the card out, mm -hmm. unwrap the second one, put the card in, more tinsel, more ribbon, not so much red, more green, unwrap it, rewrap it. <laughs> Mr. Com wait, wait a minute, Mr. Calm down. Calm down. You get upset too easily. You ought to see a psychiatrist. I am a psychiatrist! <laughs> Control yourself. I'm not going to. I know all about you, Blue Eyes. I know about you and your shoelaces Look, and mister. the plastic tips and the metal tips mister, and the initials on the coupling Look, and mister. the rewrapping and the card Oh, I know you. I know you, Blue Eyes. Look, wait a but minute. you're not going to make me crazy. You're not going to make me crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Jack will be back in just a moment, but first, nothing. No, nothing beats better taste. And remember... Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. For lucky strike me. Find tobacco richer tasting. Find tobacco. Lucky tastes better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. Lucky strike. Lucky strike. Friends, when it comes to your own enjoyment of a cigarette, nothing... No, nothing beats better taste. And Lucky's taste better, cleaner, fresher, smoother. That's because Lucky's are made of fine, mild, good-tasting tobacco. L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And Lucky's are made better to taste better, made round and firm and fully packed to draw freely and smoke even. And because Lucky's do taste better, they'll make wonderful gifts for all the smokers on your Christmas list. Right now, you can get Lucky's and their bright and cheery new Christmas carton, created by Raymond Lowy, the world-famous designer. You'll find them at any cigarette counter. So make it a lucky Christmas. Give everyone a colorful Christmas carton of Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, for Christmas gifts this year. Good night, everybody. We're a little late. Jack Benny program is written by Sam Perrin, Milt Josephsburg, George Balzer, John Packerberry, and produced and transcribed by Hilliard Marks. Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. Stay tuned for Amos and Andy, who follow immediately. This is the CBS Radio Network.